802365, a time management system to help you achieve your goals and dreams in 2021 and beyond. We all have the same amount of time. Our results depend where we invest it. This is Living Your Life Well Planned, the 802365 system with its inventor, Adam Vincent Gilmer. Welcome to episode number 64. My name's Gene Velitis. I'm your host of these podcasts. Joining my pal here, Adam, and uh, we're having a lot of fun doing these. Um, when you uh, decide to really get involved with us, and I know so many people have in over 46 countries around the world, make sure you have your daily planner. It doesn't matter whether you're listening to us in India, the Philippines, any of the other great countries around the world. Oh, and by the way, we're, we're almost up to all 50 states now in the United States, which is really, really cool. Uh, you just need that planner. We can ship it to you anywhere. You can download it anywhere. Uh, if you've got a laptop, you've got one. And if you got a printer, <coughs> you can get it done. And when you're at the website, 802365.com, make sure you check out the bank system. It's this uh, really great new um, artificial intelligent language to drive sales. And I think if you go back somewhere in the mid 40s, we had a series of interviews with a woman who invented this system. I urge you to uh, check them out. Um, amazing system. And it's also good for your kids as well. And that has nothing to do with sales. It has everything to do with language. So I highly recommend you check that one out. Well, Adam, here on episode 64, you know, I was talking to some people, we mentioned in the previous episode, have been very successful this year using your system. And one of the other questions they had was, ask Adam, like, when should I start planning my next year? Like, should, should I wait till New Year's Eve? Do I do it on the 1st of January? Or is there anything I can do slowly to get everything in motion so that when January 1st hits, I'm not sitting there waking up from New Year's Eve going, oh, I guess I better plan my next year. Well, yes. Uh, let me give you a prime example. So, you know, I, I, on the last episode, I told you we were just in, we were in Cabo and um, it was great. I hadn't seen our, our, our organization, you know, in about, I think at that time it was, you know, maybe 14 or 15 months. Okay. Wow. Crazy. Um, so it was great to get together. And now everybody knows you're in Mexico. Uh, we're staying at this fabulous resort, uh, five-star resort. It's called Nobu. And um, not only was introduced some amazing people that uh, I, I've got a new business started from for 2022 um, that I'll be really focused on. But um, you know, it was we had Mexican water in the morning. We had Mex if you know what that is. We had Mexican water uh, at uh, you know high noon. We had Mexican water for late lunch. We had Mexican water for right before dinner, after dinner, and then late into night, smoking cigars. We we're drinking tequila nonstop, right? And everybody's having a good time. So you know, we come back out of uh, out of Cabo, and I'm like, man, that was a lot of alcohol. So I I said, you know, that's it. I'm I'm gonna be alcohol free. So for the last Several months now, I've been uh, not drinking alcohol at all. And what people don't, you probably can't tell right now, but I've actually lost uh, almost 24 pounds. Okay. What? Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. I've, I've got, I've trimmed up, you know, what have you. And I, people go, well, how, you know, what are you doing differently? Well, <clears throat> I made my diet very, very clean. I'm taking my protein shakes twice a day. And I set these goals coming back from Cabo. I was like, man, you know, I just can't handle it anymore. Like, you know, I, I, in the last episode, I was talking about the avatar. Uh, that I was listening to Carrie talk about. And I look at it, I'm like, you know, I mean, it's, hey, I like tequila. I mean, I like wine and, you know, I like having a good time too. But at the end of the day, it just when, when stuff gets to be just too much, like, hang on, let me reevaluate. You know, that's off track. This and the other, let me bring it back together. And the focus, your focus goes up. And when your focus goes up, great things take place. So that was that was the, uh, the start of it for me. Then I, when I say the start of it, that was the, the straw that broke the camel's back. So that, the aha moment, they said, oh, you know what, I'm, I'm done. And, and a lot of people are like, how do you just quit cold turkey? I'm like, hang on, I set a goal. I said, I'm done. Like it's, I crossed that finish line. It's a line in the sand. The sea came in, washed away the line. Don't even know where that line is anymore. It's, it's, it's gone, it's disappeared. So there's no more, I can't look back. So oh, that's the decision I made then because the, 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 the sea came in and washed away that, that line, the proverbial line in the sand. So now I've got a fresh new ocean to look at. And that's, and you know, you start looking at things differently. 
um, you know, when's a good time to plan? Like after the show, okay, is a good time to plan. And, and get out a piece of paper, you know, order your planner, go online, get serious, make it happen. Spend and invest the, the dollar a day. It's $365 for the entire year. And we give you all the training and what have you absolutely free. Get serious about your life plan. Because when you divide, you know, the average person now is living between 73 and 76 years. Uh, let's just for the sake of it, give you the overage of 100, okay? And you divide 100 <clears throat> for a percentage into, you know, the billions of years that stuff has existed. And you find out what minute um, particle is left over, which is the percentage point of you, the value of your life put into a number over the billions of years of, of things happening. And you have this consciousness right now, and you're wondering to yourself, how the hell did Brad Pitt do it? How the hell did, you know, uh, what have you do it? And I get up on stage and I talk about this. I say, Listen, I have the confidence of Brad Pitt. I don't look anything like the guy, but I got to tell you what, man, I have confidence that, you know, that's, and that just exudes, right? So that's the point is getting, getting to that state of mind in yourself where you're like, all right, I'm clear now. I'm ready to move, move my life forward. When's a good time to plan? New Year's Eve. When's a good time to plan? The day after that. When's a good time? Every single day is a good time to plan. The problem is, is that people go, oh, I'll put it off tomorrow. And, and that there, that procrastination, if you, you know, I, I guarantee you, if we could measure cavemen, cavemen, you know, they thought, oh, you know, I'll, I'll wait till tomorrow, right? That, that procrastination has cost us in civilization so much. So my encouragement is, is do it now. Like, you know, I think Nike, even though I don't necessarily agree with they get their shoes made and, you know, some of the other stuff, but they have a good product, but they have a slogan that's amazing. You know, just do it. Okay? Just do it. And if you just sit down and do it, guess what? It's done. So cool. that's, the, that's the answer. The answer is get it done. When's the perfect time? There's no such thing as the perfect time. The perfect time is right freaking now. Get, get it started. Um, just to, to drill a little deeper in that, um, just so people know the exact answer. Should they have everything ready to go? So on January 1st, it just clicks in like that? I would like to say that's it in a perfect world, but like, you know, it doesn't work that way. Like what, how the way it works is you're gonna, listen, you're gonna review and redo your goals, your dreams and your purpose countless times, people. It's, it, it, you know, it's like a, a work in project idea. So, you know, you, you come up with a great master plan, you hire the architect, you get everything drawn up and it's ready to go. They start building it and the building inspector shows up and says, hey, on, listen, there's a new fire code. It has to be done this way. This stuff, this is what I talk about. This stuff happens this way. And I'm, I'm using, you know, real estate as an example, okay? It can be anything like, um, you know, we changed AJ's schools um, because, of, and he went to a fantastic private school. But the thing is, they decided that, you know, all kids need to wear a face mask. And we're like, hang on for a second. You know, I've done the numbers. And I said, hang on. I don't think it's a good idea that kids wear face masks and play around. I think, I think if they focus on, listen, make sure you got clean nails and, and you have to wash and sanitize your hands every time you come back. I think that'd be a better way to go. But anyway, not to get too controversial with everybody out there. This is our personal choice. So all we did was, was change it up. OK, and we found a place that was still a private school, but different. And we said, OK, we'll, we'll try that now. You've got to go down these new roads. So there's no perfect scenario. Like it's not like, oh, it's a one and done and everything fixes itself. That's not what happens. You notice that Apple sends Apple, a trillion dollar company, right? Um, uh, you know, um, Amazon, another trillion dollar company. Let's just let's understand something. They're always doing updates. They're always refreshing. They're always working on it. So there's no such thing as a perfect time. What they've done is they've laid a great foundation, which is the beginning stage of the planning system. And then you, you layer and layer and layer on top of that. And then you might find out that you need to do a remodel, you know, um, two years in or three years in or whatever it is. You might know you're, and you might knock some stuff down, but the basic foundation stays. And you, you're, you're remodeling and you're, and you're, and you're facing and you're, and you're, you're changing, you're doing these things that is making your life better. So there's no perfect time, but the, the, the best way is do it now, do it right now and uh, allow the process to take place. I can't, the, the, when we say that time's consistent, do you understand that, you know, we, we've made this night and day thing up, right? Because we're just still spinning around, but the sun's ever glaring. So it's always, you know, daytime, okay? Uh, you know, for those folks that are like, oh yeah, it's always daytime aha moment right as the world spins as that as the world turns so here's the question you know 
Uh, I, uh, I want to thank Derek again. I had a, uh, some people in India said, hey, listen here, we're doing this event in India. I know you can't be here. Can you throw together a recording? And this and the other. And I said, yep, no problem. We had it done in like, you know, 12 hours, shipped it across to them. And, you know, I was doing a presentation in India uh, from the comfort of uh, a recording. Okay. Um, why? Because we were prepared and ready. Now, imagine I didn't have the recordings done, Gene, or we didn't have something happen. Or and when the general manager asked for, hey, can you do the sales thing? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. There's so many things going on. But we had a can. We had it there. So, and I didn't know at the time that we were recording that, that we would be able to use it again and again and again and again. But now we know we could, right? So these are the things I'm talking about. There's never a perfect scenario. But if you've got the work done, it's almost like, you know, a Picasso or, you know, Van Gogh or Da Vinci or somebody coming back uh, to look at the great works. And they're like, hey, you know what, I'm going to change. I'm going to change that from white to orange or whatever. Right. And they they just uh, they create. And that's how you go about this thing. But if you don't have it, if you don't have a, a place where it's all together, uh, my plan is my, in my bag right here. If you have a place where it's all together in one place for, to instant review or to make a quick scratch and change, then you have to worry about where you left the notebook, where you left the journal, where you left the calendar, where you left, where did I write that down? And what we've done is we put all of this together in one great work of art called the 802365 system. And that allows people to say, here's my go-to place. And, and here's the other thing, when you make a change, you can see the change. You can actually say, this was the change I made, or this is the you know tailoring that I've done. Uh, I think tailoring is a better word because, uh, you know, you're not going to change much, but we're going to tailor, um, you know, the mindset and the attitude to become. Yeah. You know, what I, what, what I hear that you're saying, which I really, really like, is you're telling people to constantly uh, evolve, constantly evaluate, readjust, and then taking new action. Is that about right? Yeah. Like, you know, my, yeah, my brother said something the other day was really funny. He said, you know, um, you know, we've all heard this thing when a tree falls in the woods, can you hear it, right? Well, he changed it up, a little Irish, you know, South African humor. And he said, when a bear takes a poop in the woods, does it still stink? I'm like, yeah, if you're nearby, okay? Otherwise, no, I don't know, I'm in the woods, I can't smell the bear poop. But, but, but the point is, is that, of course it does. And you've got to continuously work on yourself. It's not a one-time fix is all. This isn't like, uh, you know, a lot of people who go in for surgery, okay, Gene, you can you know relate to this. I mean, you know, I went and had to, I I, I had a procedure done um, right before I went to Las Vegas. Okay, I had to have a uh, for for life insurance. I had to have the old, you know, go have the rear end checked out uh, procedure. Okay, fun stuff, man. Yeah, you know, I don't remember my, but listen, but these are the things you have to go through in life. And I put law, put law, put law, put law. I said, okay, fine, freaking hell, I'm just gonna get it done. And you and and when that attitude inside yourself rises up and it's like, okay, good, it's done next because you can you move on. But it's not a one-time uh, fix at all. It's good to go and get a good clean bill of health, but it's, but you know, consistent diet. Like this morning, you know, had my, had my shake, you know, I, you stay on track and that's the discipline getting back to what Jim Rowan had quoted uh, out the other day, you know, find a way to serve the many. This is the game plan. And you, and all of you have this, all of you have this wonderful gift inside yourselves. And the question is, is, are you moving towards it or are the things you're doing or not doing? If you, if you know that you should be doing something and it's going to get you to your goal or your dream and you don't do it, whose fault is that? You know, it can't be my fault as the author or your fault as, as the person doing the interviewing or the tech people behind the team, or what have you. The, the personal responsibility falls on all of us to say, am I doing better? And, you know, Imagine you had several rockets blow up, okay, trying to land on a bob bouncing, you know, a, a bobbing surface in the freaking ocean, okay, and watching them just watching the hundreds of millions of dollars go and go, well, oh shit, we learned enough, we'll learn what not to do, okay. You didn't see Elon Musk quit, you know. Um, I heard that uh, in his interview about Ford and Tesla. He said, I listen to all this stuff because it gives me. I'm, I'm always working on it. It gives me a reference point. Elon Musk said, you know, every other car business had filed for bankruptcy except for Ford and Tesla. And uh, uh, Jim Rogan asked him a question. He said, well, how close were you? And he says, really close. Okay. And now 
but you see, because because he had this, you know, he had this failing curve, and but they stuck with it. They made it happen. Look at what that stock has made that man today. One of the, if not the richest man, or, or the second, or at least third on the planet. Why? He he could have given up. He could have said, "Oh well, to hell with this. You know, I got made enough money. What have you?" See, to some people, it's not about the money anymore. It's about the differences that we make and 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 the, and how we can change humanity. And, you know, slowly, uh, hey, speaking of electric cars, I'll be the first to admit, uh, you know, I'm a Hummer guy, right? I like Hummers. And I put my money down on a new Hummer EV, right? The electric one. Why? Because, you know, I got the other ones. So I might as well have the damn electric one and, uh, you know, help save the planet a little bit. Anyway, back back to you, John. I go off track, but at least it gives you my, my thoughts and ideas. Yeah. Well, okay, so to end episode 64 here, the answer to the question, when should I start planning my next year here at the end of September, beginning of October, the answer is right now. Right. Great episode. We'll see you around the corner here on episode 65. For Adam Vincent Gilmer, I'm Gene Velitis. This is Living Your Life Well Planned, the 80-20-365 success system. See you in a couple of minutes. 80-20-365 a time management system to help you achieve your goals and dreams in 2021 and beyond. We all have the same amount of time. Our results depend where we invest it. 80-20-365, living your life well-planned.